wish somebody had told me this when I initially went into college, but being a first first generation college student, nobody really guided me all that much. I had an amazing high school counselor that got me into college, uh, but afterwards, I didn't really keep in touch with him that much. He did send out the, you know, motivational message every now and again during finals time when he knew things were rough. Um, but other than that, I didn't really keep in touch with him. And when I initially went into college, I chose computer engineering because everybody said it was great. It was great money uh, if you could endure the short term pain. So my message to you is, if you can endure, if you don't endure the short term pain, you will suffer for it long term. So a bit of background for, about me. I passed high school really, really easily. I rarely ever read. I pretty much just, it was easy mode for me. And I thought college would be the same, but unfortunately STEM degrees are easy. And if you don't read, you're definitely not gonna pass anything. So, first year I went in, I didn't really read much, and I passed by the skin of my teeth. And I was like, damn, this is difficult. I didn't expect it to be this hard. And I cooked up an excuse in my mind saying, oh, engineering or STEM fields aren't social enough for me. Let me get into something that, where, something where people are more social, more interactive. And I chose one of the fucking worst degrees I possibly could. I chose parks and recreation. Now, if you don't know, Parks and Recreation sells this idea of a $100,000 job for management, but what they don't tell you is even after college, you have to work your way up the ladder, and you're usually starting off as an intern um, at like $35,000 a year, and after a couple years, you make it to like 50, and then work your way up the ladder from there. And you can do that without a debt degree. Like, there is no genuine good um, good path for parks and recreation. Not to mention, I graduated in 2020, and that was prime COVID, COVID time, which meant a lot of recreation facilities cut their budgets, and there weren't really internships that were waiting to happen. So you gotta kind of calculate all this stuff in your mind like look at the demand for your job look at how much it pays not the end position where you get in 10 years but initially where you get out of college what is that pay so just a terrible option altogether didn't get a good internship after college uh, the graduation was freaking terrible as well we didn't even have like a genuine graduation and mind you this isn't like a whack program this is a accredited program from a csu um and it's a bachelor's of science so after i graduated i got back into what i was doing initially with, which was building maintenance um just because it was paying more to be a building maintenance tech paid me more um, with one year of experience than a four-year degree uh, paid for an entry-level position, which is just mind-boggling to me. So anyways, um, yeah, I worked my way up the ladder in that regard and became a uh, building maintenance director or a facilities director, and it didn't turn out too terrible for me. I'm making a decent amount of money, but moral of the story, if you're not willing to endure short-term pain during your four or five, six years of college, you will endure it either the rest of your life if you get lazy, or you'll have to work just as hard, and practically your college education doesn't matter. Now, I assume my uh, degree got me into doors because people assumed, oh, he, he does have a degree, he must be somewhat well-spoken to have a bachelor's of science from an accredited uh, California State, State University. So, in that regard, it might have helped me a little bit, but it definitely didn't help as much as a four-year degree should. It was, I didn't get my career in the field of my degree. So, anyways, moral of the story is choose a hard major 
do your research. Choose a hard major that is genuinely difficult at the time because either you do something that other people don't want to do or you do something that other people can't do. And when you choose the career path of a degree, when you invest that much time and money, you're choosing to learn things that others don't know, so you are compensated more than them. And if you don't choose that path, then you're choosing the career path of what others don't want to do, and everybody can do. So... I'm not even completely for college, like go to college and follow that strict path as long as you do something that others can't and is that is valuable to society. So yeah guys, that's my little spiel about a college degree. Obviously college graduate, I didn't like my degree. Awful degree. And there's a whole lot like them where you go through a four-year degree program from an accredited college and you assume that since it's an accredited university, it's not really a scam. But outside of the STEM fields and a couple others, like, there's honestly, I would say there's genuinely a handful of degrees that are useful and then the rest of them are just crap. Like, genuinely terrible. Um, so definitely go with the STEM fields. Your parents are probably right when they say, yeah, don't, don't get that communications degree or whatever. Um, but yeah, choose the hard path short term so you don't have to go that path long term. All right, guys, hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you have a personal story of a college experience, not even a college experience, but a college degree that's either good or bad. Uh, if you have a personal experience with it, I don't want to hear anything about, oh, uh, other people told me this. I want to hear your personal experience. The degree you chose, was it good or bad? What was the entry level pay for that degree? Things of that nature. Because I want like concrete information. A lot of people just make up bullshit based off stuff they hear. And I want to hear stuff that genuinely happened. And I, I genuinely want to help this uh, younger generation going into college to avoid the pitfalls. Some of the pitfalls I fell into. So, alright guys, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you're in college and you're finding it hard to stay motivated, you know what I'd do? I would get a job that absolutely fucking sucks just the worst job you can find and you might be thinking why because you got to have that heaven or hell mentality you have to tell your mind that if you don't go through college this is what's waiting for you and it'll help you get through college because you'll have to compare uh what you think is bad to something worse and you'll be like i take college seven days a week all right see you guys later